Here's a version of the Chinese Threadbook that I prepared for the National Museum of Mathematics MOVE Conference 2019. It's, uh, it's three origami boxes, the collapse, and expand to hold wonderful little things. Uh, it's made of a one rectangular tray and two masu boxes that fit together perfectly and go inside of a cover. I prepared packets for the participants that uh, include papers, the cover, 36 inches of ribbon, some instructions, and this video will supplement those instructions. So first thing, I'm going to make the rectangular tray. These are trigonometric functions that have been sized so that when they equal zero, the paper is in thirds. We're going to fold the paper in thirds using this little space. There we go. Here to here, and now again. And the paper is now in thirds. And if we fold this one, fold this edge in half, Hold this left edge in half. We'll be doing the same thing on both sides. It's a pretty symmetrical structure. Here, let's see. Make this like little rooftop. I like doing these together so that they fit together really nicely, which is really important. Do this on top and bottom. And then close this up. Do the same thing on the other side. So I bring this edge to the folded edge. Open it up. Do that little roof thing again. Top and bottom. And it's almost done. Take this piece, open it up again, and see there's like a, an isosceles right triangle here. What we want to do is define the bottom edge of it. So the, my favorite way to do that is just to take this and press it down. It sort of finds the right place nicely. And one of the folds is not going to be going the direction that I want it to go in, so sometimes I'll take this and I'll carefully fold it the other way. Let me do that just on one side this time. So now the box is done. We just have to open it up. There it is. The, the corners already have folds. You just want to articulate them a little bit better. Press it down. Do that same thing over here. And this is the one that needs to be reversed. And this one is going to, I, I need this edge to be showing when the book is collapsed. So what I'm doing, going to do is push in the sides very carefully. Push them down and push down this and collapse it. Same thing on the other side. Push these in. And there you have a collapsed box. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to make two masu boxes that are collapsed. They're these little boxes. I'm just going to make one for the video uh, to save screen time. But this that's what it looks like. So put this aside. And what we're going to do is start by making a grid, basically, a folding pattern that uh, a grid pattern that we're going to follow. Um, these edges right here, make them nice and sharp. They, they're going to come be important later. The other folds, not so much. So these edges right here, although I want to make a good fold, turn it over, and I'm going to fold on the twice on the diagonal. 
and hopefully you're admiring the way the, the patterns of the papers are doing this. Okay, so what I'm really looking for is this this middle point and these edges. You can see this sort of a grid. Um, I'm going to start off by bringing the corner in that is pink and not the blue blue point and that way it'll be uh, the design will end up as I intend it. If you don't do it that way you'll end up with a design different than I intended but that's fine. So I bring those in and then I bring the sides in. One thing that's fun to notice is you've got a great big square here and here and when I bring the sides in that square becomes half of its former area. There we go. See the little squares here? And now it's nice and sharp. Now we do the same thing with the other corners. This is this is completely symmetrical in four ways. There we go. Here. I'm gonna bring this over to the center line. Nice and even. Yeah, make your folds nice and sharp and my pattern is telling me that my folding is good and now these become the sides of the box I'm going to be folding now on these these lines uh, and because I'm going to be folding and they're both they're going sort of more ways they're sort of mount I want them all to be very valley sharply valley at this point so I'm reinforcing these before I actually do the fold. I'll do that on both sides. You don't have to do this, but it makes things go so much better. There we go. So now we've got these are the sides of the box. And this is the part where people get most confused. You've got these two corners right here. I'm going to bring those corners together. And as I bring them together, this whole box is going to stand up. I'm going to let it stand up, encourage it to stand up. There it goes. See, it's standing up. And I'll sharpen these corners, get them together, squeeze them together. And this lip that's hanging out here gets tucked in, locks the box in place. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to push that middle in a little bit. That's going to be where it's going to be collapse, uh, where we're going to collapse it. Same thing over here, bringing these two corners together, articulating those corners to make them nice and tight, squeezing them, not articulating them, there we go, and then pressing it in, there we go, and I'm going to push the center in, starting to collapse it, there we go, and it's collapsing, and I really like to Take my time with that. Make sure everything collapses nicely. There we go. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And I have two of them. Now I take my cover. Here's the cover. Uh, thread the ribbon through it. This is double-sided adhesive tape. And what I'll do is I'll take off that, that, put it on like that nice and evenly. Here's one I've already done. And then what you want to do is these edges, let's see, okay, there we go. Um, this edge gets glued onto here. This flat edge glues onto the flat edge. These meet in the middle. What's kind of nice about this is this should fit right there in between. And if you want to uh, figure out how big this piece of paper should be when you've got one of these, is that you measure this diagonal, double it, and that's the size of the square that you start off to make this. So now I'm going to take some glue and see if I can make sure I'm putting it on the right thing. There we go. Put it on this side. Put it on this little bottom part. You can use double-sided tape, white glue, you can use a glue stick if it's a good one. 
And that lines up right in the middle. And same thing over here. I want to be careful that I put it in the right place. Don't want to mess it up. Make sure those are lined up nicely in the middle. Press it down. And I'm going to give that a little bit of time before I open it up but it again it opens up like this you can close it like that and um, look you can jazz up the cover however you want show you this there we go wrap it around and there you have it the Chinese thread book